Well, then, folks, my friend and colleague Mark ZX2 has been busy bidding on my behalf on eBay. And on this occasion, we've got the Made in the UK Mercury 1040, I think it was 1983. There were a lot of money in the, at the time. And I noticed that when we turn this one over, uh, that we've got the optional noise squelch board. I don't like the sticky pads holding the speaker in. It's all fiberglass construction. When I was at Nottingham Radio as manager for about 18 years, we did see one or two medical products come through. An EMS, or electromedical supplies. One of their chief products are Oh, electro, electroconvulsive therapy uh, machines for use uh, when people have nervous breakdowns. So I hope this doesn't have one built in and I don't want to find you press transfer and it gives you some interesting kind of shock. So we don't know anything about them. We don't have a circuit diagram. What we do have is the instruction book with a, a block diagram and I have made up a little diagram of what adjustments there are but it's totally play by ear what we're going to have to do first is set up the it's a three crystal synthesizer and it's based on the Motorola MC145109 so so what we've been able to determine is that the test point which is pin 3 of the synthesizer IC there should be 10.24 on your frequency counter. The crystal trimmer TC2 is the 10.24 adjustment, so that's the 10.24 crystal. And that's the first thing we need to do to set up this kind of radio. Now, if I go into transmit, that'll be my next thing. See if it is transmitting. It is on a limited power. We now need to set up the transmit frequency. Now we're in the UK, we're on channel 20, and it should be 2779125. It's reading 2779164. So presumably it's going to be that one there. This is guesswork, let's see what happens. It is. We'll just trim that down to the correct frequency. 7912 three, four, five. There we go. And that's just toggling five and six. So now know the radio is transmitting on frequency and it is transmitting. I can't go through the VCO with you, but we don't have a service manual, but you can look up the data on the Motorola MC145-109 and check the lock detector pins and presumably these wax filled coils that are going to be the VCO in the early part of the transmit stage that is transmitting so we'll concentrate now on going through the PA adjustments so I'll just remove my earth from the frequency counter so our next adjustment will be that one now are we in high or low power because it's not doing a lot there we go it's doing, in fact, I'll put the other camera on, then you can see what it's doing. So we're in the three watt scale, and so what you're looking at is two and a half watts in that position. So I'd like to improve that, of course. No improvement there. <coughs> go for the green tool Struggling with that one, is it uh, the wrong tool? It is. 
as you can see we've got peak there I'll just go through those again and the driver there we'll see whether the pre-drive stages just melt the wax a bit helps if the soldering irons on uh, and just see whether we can get a bit more out of it underneath there is another adjustment which I presume is a harmonic filter Now, I think it's quite clearly peaked properly. So I'm going to turn it over. I've no, no idea what I'm doing. But at least we've got the instruments to get it back right if I make a mistake. So underneath here, we've got coil 15A and 16A. So I may have to check these with our spectrum analyzer later on if I upset something. So we'll just see what those do. Well, that, as you can see, has peaked it again. See what happens on that one. That's at peak as well. So, at the moment, we're still only doing two and three quarter watts. We would really expect the radio to be capable of of some kind of full power. Okay, so we've meticulously been through all the coils and all the adjustments and this radio is doing three watts so like it or not that's what it does i'm not really bothered about that because the instruments we have here are uh, pretty um you know three watts on this instrument could well be four and a half watts on a on a hobby quality instrument so now we need to go looking at the transmit meter now the transmit meter is RV1, which is there. So if we're going to transmit, of course we know the red is doing 3 watts. So it's going to be supposedly the middle of the strawberry patch, as they would say. And we will do that. And there we have it. It's not a calibrated meter, it's just some kind of guide. Now deviation. Quick whistle test, see what we've got. Uh, 1.5, that doesn't look very good does it? Let's get the oscillator out. How to transmit with that. Our deviation is the preset there. And that's brought it up to 2.25. I'll just show you on the other camera. We'll just put that one on. So there we are. Centre of the scale is 2.5. 2.2 to 2.5, which is where we want to be. Quick whistle test. <whistles> Wallow. <whistles> Should be all right. And I'll just have a quick listen on our monitor receiver, which is right behind me. Testing one, two, Walu. Testing one, two, three. So that is fine. So I can't really tell you loads of things about this radio, but just to recap, that is the 10.24. Just zoom in on that so you can see a bit better. I can find the remote for the camera. So 10.24 is that. We're going to set that by putting the frequency counter on pin three. There's a test point for it. Set that to 10.24, then on channel. So they have you, the Mercury 1040, uh, which is a UK built radio with its unique EMS board. And I will join you on the receive side of this video. So having to backtrack slightly, because having set everything else up, we decided, I was telling you erroneously, what the adjustments were. 10.24 is still that one there, measuring it at pin three of the synthesizer chip. The transmit frequency is actually set by adjusting crystal 2 
here. We found that it was slightly high and it's actually affected slightly by the receive side of things and by very careful manipulation we've been able to set the transmit only slightly high. Now it should be 27.79125 we've managed to get it down to 27.79134 with both the 10.24 local oscillator and the receive side still being on frequency. So that's a jolly good compromise but it's uh, quite a surprising result. So I did tell you wrongly earlier and that is in fact receive and that is in fact transmit. So there you have it.